All right, first you want to start by cutting the straps that are securing the panel. Obviously, be careful with the blade. On the side, you'll notice there's two handles. The bottom one is used to carry the panel, while the top one will remove the top. Go ahead and grab the top handle and pull up to remove the top. You'll notice that there's one box that contains accessories. Inside, you should see power cables, a remote control, as well as an HDMI and a USB cable and the styluses. You can put this aside for now. Very, very, very carefully cut the plastic and make sure that it's away from the panel. Once you get a little cut like this, it's pretty easy to remove it. So go ahead and remove it around the panel towards the bottom. You'll notice that you won't be able to get all the plastic off. That's okay, because we're going to put the mounts on and pick it directly out of the box. All right, so you'll notice that by cutting the plastic away, we were able to expose the mounts. This will allow us to put the mounts on without removing the panel from the box. Carefully cut away any extra plastic if you need to. Once you're ready, take your mounts and then line them up with the brackets. Again, making sure that all the plastic's clear. When we screw these on, we won't, don't want to pinch the plastic against it. Make sure that your panel is facing towards where you're going to mount it. That way you're not trying to juggle it around. And also make sure that you have two people. Lift it directly out of the box and put it on your mount. Make sure the panel is secure before you try taking any of the paper covering off. So depending on the type of mount you're using, uh, this will look a little different, but this is a securing bolt. You wanna make sure that this is in so the panel doesn't shift sliding left to right or be able to rotate out. So go ahead and secure that. Now that we have the panel mounted, let's go ahead and take off the paper and any tape. Next, we'll need to install power. So locate the ViewSonic logo, and just to the left of it, underneath the panel, is where we can plug in our power cable. So once you have the board plugged in, this is gonna be your power button. Now you'll notice that the power button is blank. It has no light on it. So we actually need to turn on the power switch, which is where the plug goes in, just to the left of the ViewSonic logo. So Locate where the plug is plugged into the board and then just to the left of it is a little switch. Go ahead and press that till you hear it click. And then you'll notice that the power button goes from being turned off to red. Red still means the board's powered off, but that it is receiving power. So if this light is not lit up, you need to check your connection. Make sure it's plugged into the wall and also make sure that that switch is turned on. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and press this button to boot up the panel. Don't forget, after you have everything set up, there are some accessories in the box that came with the panel that you're gonna to wanna to pull out. For example, if you're gonna be connecting an external device, you'll wanna make sure that you get the HDMI cable and the USB cable. There's also a remote control in the box, and most importantly, two stylus pens. We recommend taking these out and just magnetizing them to the front of the panel. To install the wireless card on the panel, you're gonna to need to find this cover on the bottom right side of the panel. We're gonna remove these screws and then slide the wireless card in. This is what the wireless module looks like. Make sure the antennas are screwed on tightly and then slide it into the slot. Then reattach the screws. If you purchase one of the built-in PC modules, you're gonna to wanna to remove the cover on the top that's held on by two screws. Now 
Now that we have the cover off, let's put in the computer. Push it all the way until you hear it snap. There's no need to reattach the screws.